Bill. This is Christian from ESC United, and I'm here with Lindita from Albania. Oh, hi. I've so been looking forward to see you. You have no idea. I swear I couldn't, meet you. I couldn't wait to meet you guys. Thank you. Your song is amazing, and I love your voice. I love the whole production. I mean, it's when I when I saw your win, it was just like it's such it was such a huge production on stage. Fine. Thank you so much. It means the world the world to me. <laughs> <laughs> but, but then also, you're also a composer of this song. Yes. I mean, wow! This is just I'm I'm you blew me away. Thank you. And your video, I'm just like, wow. Thank you so much. I'm really happy with the whole production. I'm really happy for all the people that worked on this song and the video with me. Claudian Chafoko, who produced the song. Big Basta for the co-writing co the Albanian lyrics, because we wrote it together. And I wrote the English version. And I am so happy about Clay Dieski, who produced the video. I, I love the ideas he brought to life, you know, because I had so many ideas for it. So. But there's also... There's so many layers in the song, so it's like every time I listen to it, I find new things in it. Really? <laughs> it's like a global message, just a lot of hidden messages in a way, like even in a music video, like uh, the, the floating scene where I was, you know, in the water and all of that, that was my idea and I wanted to show that we all have ba battles we fight for, you know, so it's like I was drowning and I wanted to find a solution to all my problems and that's, that's what I wanted to portray on that scene, so. But now you mention it that you have an Albanian version and you had an English version. How come that you then ended up choosing the English one? Because I also have supporters from America where I live currently and they don't they love the Albanian language and the mystery of it, but they're like we don't understand what you're saying. So I wanted to make sure that my message touches more more countries and more people and, and people understand it from worldwide. So that's really the, the purpose why I made it in English first. So what amazes me is that you're so tiny and you have such a big voice. <laughs> oh God, I don't know where it comes from, man. I'm just, I just, maybe because I grew up in a small village where it's mountains and it's fresh air, and I was just like, you know, like Cinderella. <laughs> so, uh, what do you prefer to be recording in a studio or doing live version, to sing live? I love both, but if I had to choose, I would love to be on stage all the time because I love interacting with fans. I really hope that you will qualify for the final. I, re I would. I mean, that is my that is my biggest hope this year. I'm just like you have to qualify. So I mean, there's so many great songs. So I really hope that we have a chance to, you know, join those other great songs that will make the finals. But I I just hope that you just will remember, no matter how it goes, it's not about it's. There's nothing wrong with your song or your voice. People have just voted for something different. Right. So it's, it's very, you really have to. I'm very calm to when it comes to opinions because everybody has a right to think, you know, not everybody has to like you, not everybody has to love the song, you know, but I'm just happy that I, I got to be part of this whole experience. This means so much to me. It's one of the biggest performances of my life. So I'm, I'm just happy to be here. Have, have you a plan of a, doing an album after the Eurovision? to launch an album or a, a new single? Uh, on, the, on the 23rd of April, I'm going to shoot my music video for now. You know, the new song that came out. I don't know if you had a chance to hear it. Okay, you got to go to YouTube. Yes, <laughs> it's doing really now. well. Okay, <laughs> now, right now, actually. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, I'm really happy because, you know, it was a new experiment, but people loved it so much. It already got 120,000 as an audio on YouTube. And I'm like, what? They, they like it this much? I, I was just playing around, you know. But uh, I'm doing the music video for it, and I'm coming right back to Europe in like three days. So there's going to be a long come back and forth all the time but I'm used to it so you're like promoting two songs at the same time yes because I finally get to do music and I want to make sure that ev everybody who's watching world can can also hear my new song because I, I do ballads but I also can do other things too so that's really what it is and the thing is actually also when I was listening to uh, to your song now that uh, not now but uh, <laughs> that you know there's so many ballads this year right. And uh, then I was listening to Ukraine and I was thinking, oh, here we have a rock song. But actually, your song also has a lot of rock in it, yes. in the layers. It's like, oh, wow. Albanians as, as, a, as a people, are, are we love alternative music. In Tirana especially, they listen to a lot of Scorpions, you know, ABBA, and we love alternative music. So uh, I feel like they added some elements, but it really fit the song. It's really difficult to sing a ballad, so I congratulate all the other artists that have ballads because it's not easy to sing one. It, it requires a lot of power, a lot of voice. So I'm, I'm just so mesmerized by some voices that I heard here. They're so amazing. 
Well, and I'm mesmerized by yours. Oh, thank, you. thank you so much for taking your time. You're so lovely. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you thank so you. much.